This is the real Tom Rose, and we're doing an algebraic translation here. We're given something in prose and asked to translate it into algebra so that we can solve it. We've been asked to find um, whatever four times the number is. So I'm going to define n is equal to the number. And we've been asked to find 4n. Um, and we've been given some prose, lest we should translate. 2 more than 3 times a number is equal to 20. Well, we've got 3 times a number, and we've got 20. So we're going to equate those two things. But we need to take into account this 2 more. And I've found that when doing algebraic translations, this additive issue is something that causes error for many people. So let's see if we can figure out a way to get around this. One of the things I like to keep track of when I'm worried about error is keep track of um, the large side and the small side in an equation. So 2 more than 3 times the number is equal to 20. Which means that 20 is the big side and 3 times the number is the small side. So if we're going to add 2 to one of the sides, we should do it to the small side so that both sides of this equation can be equal. Well, now we have one equation and one variable, so we can solve it for that variable. So let's subtract 2 from both sides. Divide both sides by 3. And we'll get n is equal to 6. Now that we've found n, we can, of course, plug that in to get what we've been asked to find. So we'll have 4 times the plug-in of 6 is 24. And that will be your answer.